Hi, my name is Sergey Gusio. Welcome back to this channel. Today in this video tutorial I'm going to show you a very unusual technique. Actually, I'm going to use it the first time in my life. I'll be painting a portrait in oils on paper, but first of all I'll paint the upper part of the face and only after that the lower part. If you want to watch the full tutorial, you can download from my webpage. Just follow the link in the description. Okay, guys. If you're ready, let's get started. Okay, I start working on this portrait like I usually do when I paint with oil. So I start out from making a quick under drawing. I use graphite pencil 2B and as a surface today I'm using just watercolor paper primed with acrylic gesso. So I care like always for the right composition, proportions and likeness. I shade a bit in the shadows when I need to separate one big plane from another big plane. And so when I'm completely satisfied with this underdrawing, I spray it and move on to the next stage, which is painting. So I skip underpainting today. And as I mentioned in the very beginning, I'm going to use another technique. Actually, it's the most unusual technique I have ever tried out. I've never painted like that, so this is my first time. I'm going to paint the upper part of the head first, and when it's finished, when I'm satisfied with it, when it's looking realistic, well done, I move on to the lower part. So I thought that usually when I paint, I spend a lot of time on the upper part, on the eyes and on the hair, because they are very detailed, very complicated, they consist of lots of smaller details and so I thought why not try and paint the most complicated parts first. I don't know how it turns out, actually I'm very excited to look at it at the end. So right now I'm working on the upper part. This is not alla prima, it took me a few seasons, so at some point I'm working over a dry surface, especially when I need to make the small details like the eyelashes, eyebrows, or some single hair, I paint, of course, over a dry surface. It's more convenient for me. But again, I use the same basic rules I always use. I care for the values, for the colors, warm and cool colors. I remember about proportions, likeness, and so on. So right now I'm working on the low part, and as I guessed, it's a lot easier for me. We have mostly big planes here, so we don't have very complex details like the eyes, for example. Uh, the lips are pretty simple to paint, and so most of the work on the big areas like cheeks, side surface of the head, neck, background, hair, and clothes. So it's pretty simple, but of course I have to care for the same basic rules again. So it's not like we have to forget about them. We always apply them and actually it doesn't matter which medium we use, which colors we use, which surface we use. We always have to remember about the drawing side, proportions, values. It's all really important. Okay, the face is looking pretty realistic to me and well done. Of course, I want to work a little bit on the hair, on the surroundings. And at the very end, I want to finish the ear, making a few brush strokes over there. And let's take a look at the very end at how it turned out. Okay, I think it looks pretty realistic and well done. I'm not disappointed at this technique. I don't know, guys, if you like it and if you want to use it at some point, but I think that just for fun or for new experience, we need at some point try out something new we have never did before. Thank you for watching guys, I hope you liked this video. Again, if you want to watch the full tutorial and paint alongside with me, just download it from my webpage, follow the link in the description. As always, I wish you good luck in your own artworks and see you soon on my channel.